Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we are going to cover the extrude tool. Extrude, 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 extrude. Okay, poly modeling is the shelf that I'm in right now. Who cares? Who cares? Let's do some extrusions, folks. Boom, right there. Now there are different ways to extrude. You can do it via edge, via vertex, or via face. Look, here's an edge. Hit edge. You can either do extrude icon, you can do edit mesh extrude, or you can do what I do, control E. So we're gonna take that, control E, and as you can see, we can extrude. Now it is extruding at an angle there for that particular thing. Wait, see, you can do that. You can do whatever you want, ladies and gents. Okay, so that would be extruding an edge. You can also do control Z. You can also do vertex. Vertex extrusion, control E, is going to give you a bit of a spike. Now, if I added a bunch of subdivisions, you'd really see it. Shall I? Okay. Polycube, we're going to add four or five subdivisions, subdivisions. Now, if I go into extrude, you can see right there the vertex that was chosen there. If extruding, we can really pull it out. So it makes spikes. I'm just going to dolly out here. It makes spikes. So when you extrude out a vertex, it makes spikes or multiple. You can do multiple. Okay. Let's do this one too. And control E. And again, it's going to make spikes. Okay. So that's the extrusion of vertices. We're going to control Z it back. I don't need all these subdivisions. Let us get that back into good shape. Yes, very good. And finally, faces. So when we do faces, let's do select here, select here, select here, select here. We have two different types of extrusions, what you're going to see. The first one is where we keep all the faces together. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. Keep faces together on. So what we're going to do is just... Whoa, whoa. Nope, not that one either. <laughs> Let's use this one. Okay, so we see these faces are kept together. All right, they're not independent. Still in the plane. Nothing's going up or down. So that's what we find. Okay, that's if we keep faces together. Here's what happens when we don't keep the faces together. I didn't do that correctly. Here we go. Just selecting all of the faces. Now, frame, control E, keep faces together, no way. So I hit the middle button and I just waved it to the left, off. Now we're gonna try it. Oop, you gotta get that right one here. There we go. And there you see the faces are not kept together. Another cool thing that you can do here, if you want to, you can start to use the scale, which is also on there on top of when you hit extrude. Not only can you move these guys around, not only can you move these guys around out or this way or that way or up or down out of the plane, but you can also scale it. You can also scale it this way or this way. So you use these little squares on the outside for scaling and the arrows for moving it around, okay? That's for keeping faces together. A lot of cool things that you can do with extrude. Certainly not enough, not, uh, you know, something that you can put in just one simple basic Maya extrusion video so I might do more 
But anywhere there's a face or an edge, you can extrude, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you an example of when you want to get certain types of features from, let's say, like furniture or whatever. I'm going to take these two cubes here, and I'm going to shift H because they were hidden, and now they're available. So here are two extrude techniques. One was using two extrudes. One was using four. Can you guess which one was two extrudes and which one was four? Well, let's not guess. I mean, you can guess, but I'm going to show you. Okay, let's go ahead and hide these. And I'm going to show you how to do each one. Let's do this one on the right first, and then we'll go to the one on the left. So I made a pretty good size rectangle okay and then you go to faces face mode select extrude now we're not pushing in or pushing out we're simply going to scale it so I'm using these uh, little squares here okay now you see these little diagonal edges they're not going in not quite yet. Everything is in the plane. Planer. I'm going to select this. Faces. And just go in. Just push in. Using the move tool, we're pushing in. Notice how those diagonals follow suit. Then we're going to use the extrude tool again. Notice our controller comes in here or our manipulator what they call if you ever want to get back to that you just hit t if you want to get your manipulator up so that tells us that the extrude is available we're going to go ahead and rescale again rescale and push out pushing out notice it's going diagonal again Make sure it's okay good all right there's our piece looks similar to the other one at least in process right so we have these diagonals that move in with it and then we resized it extruded again and the diagonals followed that's for the one on the right okay so let's get rid of that that was using Two extrudes, we do the next one. This one is good for what I've seen, I've seen a couple of YouTubers do modeling, speed modeling, 3DX, 3DEX, check them out. Extremely knowledgeable YouTuber, also probably a very successful 3D mold, um, modeler and <laughs> rigor and the whole deal. He's, just, he's really good. Okay, so let's take a look. Face. But anyway, I saw something in his speed modeling where he was making some furniture from a bed and carving out the back of it. But everything was using right angles, not like what we just saw here with that second one. If we can see it again. Where are you? Not like this, not like this one. Here, those are angular, right? Those are angular, but let's say you wanna have like the back of a bed post or the bed uh, frame. All right, let's take a look. Let's control H out of there and let's, which cube was it? <laughs> it was this one. All right, so we use, a, we, we select face, select face, we hit control E, we're going to rescale it, rescale, okay, still planar, still planar. I know it looks that way when you start to rescale, when you start to rescale. Now, how do we prevent it, those diagonals, from going in with it? Well, I can tell you, we got to use another extrude, okay? So we hit 
extrude again and now it goes in how nice is that okay so maybe we don't need to go that far in but let's go that far in we hit extrude again we're going to resize it again that's planar you want to know we use wireframe mode that's four notice everything is a box resize and now we need it to come out but we don't want it to come out angular. You see those edges that are angling out? We don't want that. I don't want that either. We want it to be straight. So we want it to go straight out. What do we do? Control E again. And then you've got a nice little effect there for a backboard or a baseboard or, or something like that. Okay? And so there you go. Now you've got the other one. So this one requires an extrude, rescale, extrude again, go in, extrude, rescale, extrude, come back out. So each step is going to give you those right angles so that you don't have any diagonals that are essentially following with it, following suit. Okay. Okay. And that'll do it. So we've got this one, this one. We're going to go Shift H to reshow. And we have uh, object mode. And then we're going to go to six, cardboard shading, or I'm sorry, um, textured shading. And there you go. So this one right here requires four extrudes, at least with this particular technique. And this one requires two. Okay, that'll do it for extrude. We'll probably have more extrude tutorials in the future. This just gives you a good introductory experience with Extrude. Okay, well, it's the end of the week. We're going to keep on plugging along, learning Maya 2018 and beyond. Dreams, dreams in our minds, fully realized in our virtual world of Maya.